nice little setup. Don't mind one of these at the agency. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. We only have to look around to see where that goes.
now very trying some pants. Don't find me. I'm at the features with flags. Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cats will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in 50 seconds. Anyone out there is Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some cams? Come find me. I'm at the Three Trees with Flags. Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there buying some cams? Come find me. I'm at the Patriots with flags. Wait for me there. I promise you won't be disappointed. These cats really take your head off and spin it around. This is a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some cats? Come find me. I'm at the Three Trees with flags. Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some cams? Come find me. I'm at three trees with flags. Wait for me there. And I promise you won't be disappointed. These cats will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some cans? Come find me. I'm at the Three Trees with flags. Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams will really take your head off and spin it around. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some cams? Come find me. I'm at the Three Trees with flags. Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams Head on and spin it around. This has been a pre recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there interested in buying some camps? Come find me. I'm at the Three Trees with flags. Wait for me there, and I. This all ended up being...
Well, ain't that a blast from the past? some crawlies outside. There's nothing I couldn't normally hide, but I'm nursing it all the way. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker. What is this? Look at those green estates. We've got some crawlies outside. There's nothing I couldn't normally hide, but I'm nursing it all the way. Assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. We've got some crawlies outside. There's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bomb leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside. Nice. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. We've got some crawlies outside. I think I couldn't normally have them, but I'm nursing a bomb leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. We've got some crawlies outside. There's nothing I couldn't normally have them, but I'm nursing a bomb leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker. Fiddler's Green Estates. We've got some crawlies outside. 
It's nothing I couldn't normally handle. A nurse had a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message hey, repeats. Hey, I'm listening. Seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. Hey, I'm all here. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. Yes. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. It's nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an assist. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Anyone out there? If you can hear me, I'm trapped inside a bunker in. What is this? Fiddler's Green Estates. Got some crawlies outside. Nothing I couldn't normally handle, but I'm nursing a bum leg. Could use an.
It must have been nice being able to pick up and move at a whim. Things are antiques, huh? <laughs> Got it. Hey. Go on. Good plan. Heads up. Do something for you?
through. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Watch your back. The Institute could be right behind you. The latest hairstyles from the upper stands. New issue of public occurrence. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story?
Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get a jump started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Hey, would you, uh, That'll be like Diamond City's news? motto. That's great, because I've got some for once. Maybe you heard the uh, radio broadcast, the one from Rex Goodman? You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? You keep 
that synth freak at arm's length. You understand me? We buy and sell everything to everyone. Miss Perkins. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but... I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. Yeah? Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. That's all I'm saying.
Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I remember you. H222's contact. What's this all about? This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No, I will not. Now, do you have it? How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. I'm static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find.
Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Nick and I are gonna share a mind? Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. <laughs>